just purchased this uh, AC to DC converter off Amazon. So a we'll quick unboxing. They're all basically similar. I don't know whether they're all from the one factory or not. But you get the uh, the wall plug. And you get the main unit itself. With the uh, cigarette socket. This unit is details on this unit as a GY GD power adapter under 250 50 60 cycles 12 volt 10 amps so you'd say 120 watts but since purchasing this and looking at a few comments on various uh, different makes including this one they don't seem to produce the rated 120 watts so I'll be interested to see whether this one will do it or whether I should have gone for a a 150 180 watt because I will be probably using up to 110 watts off of this and we'll see whether it'll do it. The reason I purchased it was to be able to use this uh, lithium ion phosphate uh, battery charger which is stated to have. 100.8 watts output so it'll be interesting to see what called rated 120 watt will be able to work with this charger the reason I got it was um, uh, on the boat I used this to come off the cigarette socket to charge lithium ion phosphate battery my thinking is if I'm tied up somewhere with a shore power I could utilize this fella and this to charge the batteries without having to be running the engine. Okay, I've started now. I have this one plugged into the mains and cigarette lighter connection onto the lithium iron phosphate charger connected to this uh, 100 ampere hour lithium iron phosphate battery. And I'm just watching what's happening here on the dally. And yeah, she's putting in 6.8 amps which is what you'd expect she's rated at 7 amperes but I've noticed that she puts in about 6.8 so we'll just monitor this now so far it's only started but so far it's not hot not making any buzzing sounds and this fella is quite normal so we leave it run for a while and then I'll do a temperature test the dally is saying that there is about 89 to 90 watts going in um, from the charger. We've been running now for slightly over an hour, so I'll just check temperatures. She has got a bit warmer now, all right. 45, 46, 47, 50. Okay, 52 up around there. Now these, I'm not a great lover of these. A little bit warmer, there's a little bit of a loss of efficiency in them things, but yeah, it's okay. Now the charger, that's yeah, around the same. 46, 47, 57. Yeah, it's a bit hotter than uh, what I was getting the, the last test, just coming straight out of the uh, EcoFlow wasn't, to my memory, as hot as that. No, it wasn't. So that's it. Um, Doubting Thomas will have to take a little bit back of my negativity. She is handling it. So she's drawing about 90 watts, according to the, the DALI BMS. There's 90 watts going into the battery. Assuming this is somewhere between 85 to 90% efficient, which I think it is. So I would be drawing roughly 100 to 105 watts off of this. Unfortunately, I don't have one of those um, mains uh, plug-in AC uh, watt meters, which would have been interesting to see what she's actually drawing off the mains. Running now for about two and a half hours in the uh, charger. She certainly was running a lot cooler when I was uh, plugged into uh, 
the uh, socket outlet of the eco flow so perhaps the uh, the DC that's coming out of this isn't as good as what was coming out of the eco flow possibly down to the quality of the DC coming out and I have no way of checking that I did see on one site where uh, not this particular but similar uh, they were recommending only loading up to 80% of the rated capacity so maybe that would be a better idea time will only tell reliability so final thoughts yeah it's fine it's a little bit warm yeah uh, if I could put back the clock I would probably go for uh, uh, one that would be rated higher uh, maybe 150, 180 watts. Um, I've just done another test now. Uh, yesterday I was coming off the uh, AC from the EcoFlow, but I just thought overnight to try it. I'm now just coming off the uh, house mains, and I must say she's been running now for well over an hour or more, and she is very cool. So it's certainly a big difference uh, coming straight from the mains. So this must have been causing a bit of overheating as well. So that's a lot better now. And uh, this one is uh, chargers a lot better now. I did a test plugged into the uh, EcoFlow after an hour or more. The draw is 116 watts. That would be where the light is, so that's the sort of spread of temperatures average from about 30 to 42, 33 to 44 and getting a bit warmer here, 33 to 51. Now that was coming straight off the eco flow which is straight coming from DC. Uh, I then, uh, powered by the converter, now coming from the mains, the temperature of the unit itself, the converter is roughly down at this end, uh, 20 to 30 degrees up where the neon light is, 26 to 30, so that's fairly good. And the temperatures then of the charger from the converter is... Uh, 34 to 45 down at that end coming uh, 34 46 and up by the neon light 33 to 54 degrees C so it's only now about 3 degrees above coming direct from the uh, DC power so that's fairly good she's able to take the uh, wattage which must be at least uh, 110 watts I would reckon there's probably inefficiencies here in the eco flow, but that's a lot better than uh, last night. She's running an awful lot cooler. Yeah, happy enough with that. And this is uh, way, way cold cooler. That's an awful lot better than what I was seeing uh, last night. Yeah, we're coming up close to 50% now. She's going in 6.5 amps. Yeah, it's a lot of cooler. I mean, it is warm, but uh, nothing like uh, the temperatures I was seeing last night. My hands are filthy from walking on the boat today. <laughs> Oil and grease, you can't beat it. The other thing I noticed uh, with this uh, plug, it's a standard 13 amp plug. And it's fused. When I'm passing the local hardware store, I must get some uh, 3 amp fuses. 13 amps, you can run up to 3 kilowatts off this plug. Um, and this is only 120 watts, so I will fit the smaller fuse. Because that's really there to protect cable and any overheating or short circuits. So why have a, a 13 amp fuse in there? You can replace the 13 and put a 3 amp in, so I will do that.